Hello everyone, welcome to Bit of Anatomy. In this tutorial, we will see the histological features of ganglia. Collection of cell bodies of neurons within the central nervous system, it is called as nuclei. Whereas collection of the cell bodies of the neurons outside the central nervous system or within the peripheral nervous system is known as ganglion. So ganglia is collection of cell bodies of the neurons. So if you see the classification of the ganglia, it is classified into sensory ganglia and also autonomic ganglia. So first we will see the features of the sensory ganglia. So sensory ganglia is sometimes also called as dorsal root ganglion or the spinal ganglion. So it is also present in the 5, 7, 8, 9 and 10th cranial nerves. So if you see the features, so the entire sensory ganglia is surrounded by a small thin connective tissue capsule and it includes larger cells which are unipolar in nature, they are arranged in bundles and the bundles of the cell bodies are separated by thick myelinated fibers. So within each cell we can see some the cytoplasm and a centrally placed nucleus and nasal granules. In some cells you might see that there is a gap between the cell membrane and also the cytoplasm. So it is actually one of the artifacts that occurs during preparation of the slide where the cytoplasm will shrink. These unipolar neurons, they are surrounded by small cells, which are basically the neuroglial cells. These cells, they are known as satellite cells. So some call it as capsular cells and some call it as just satellite cells. And as I said earlier, the fibers or the nerve fibers that run between the bundles of the cell bodies of the neurons, they are thick myelinated nerve fibers. So these are the features of the sensory ganglia, capsule, thick myelinated nerve fibers, large unipolar neurons which are surrounded by numerous satellite cells. So next if you see the autonomic ganglia, it is further divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic ganglia and uh, structurally both sympathetic and parasympathetic they are quite similar. So the cell bodies of the neurons in autonomic ganglia, they are very small when compared to the sensory ganglia and they are multipolar in nature. Of course, the polarity of the cell bodies of the neurons is difficult to appreciate in the regular hematoxylin and eosin stain slides. But still, to a certain extent, we can make out that the cell bodies of multipolar neurons has got multiple edges when compared to the cell bodies that are present in the sensory ganglia. The nucleus in these cell bodies, they are present in the center in parasympathetic ganglia and they are little eccentrically situated in sympathetic ganglia. So this is the only example where the nucleus is eccentrically situated in the nervous tissue. In other neurons, if it is eccentrically situated, then it indicates that there is some damage to the neurons. And similar to the sensory ganglia, the neurons of the sympathetic ganglia are also surrounded by satellite cells. But the number of satellite cells here, they are very minimal. So just two or three satellite cells can be appreciated. There is no bundle arrangement in the autonomic ganglia. The entire neurons, they are scattered and they are separated by thin unmyelinated nerve fibers. So these are the features of the autonomic ganglia. The small multipolar neurons, thin unmyelinated nerve fibers and few satellite cells. So finally, if we see the major differences between the sensory and the autonomic ganglia, so in sensory ganglia, unipolar neuron is present, multipolar in autonomic. So the neurons are arranged in bundles in sensory, they are scattered in autonomic. The satellite cells are more in sensory and few in the autonomic. Nerve fibers are thick myelinated in sensory and they are thin non-myelinated in the autonomic. So these are the features of the 
histology of the ganglia do subscribe for future updates thank you